Hello, it is the John Coffin today on this special vlog on a special Sunday. It is National Officially Earth Day. So this evening, if you haven't done anything good for the Earth, you know, today's a good day to start, it, start doing it because it is Earth Day. So, you know, maybe recycle something you haven't before or if you never had recycled before, maybe start recycling in your house or at work or whatever, just to help save the earth because it's important, right? So, you know, just do something special for the earth today. It's not that hard. The earth is in our hands. And if we don't take care of the earth, it's not gonna be very good. Because we have to keep it clean, we have to keep it efficient, all that stuff for the earth. Because Earth depends on us humans. Because we have the power over any animal or creatures on this Earth. <laughs> Technically. So, you know, I hope you guys are just staying motivated today on this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, fun day and making it fun. Where I live right now, it's rainy and cloudy and gloomy. But, you know, you can always make Sundays enjoyable still. No matter what the weather is outside. And, you know, it might be maybe a little hard to stay motivated when it's cloudy and gloomy out, but you just gotta figure out how to do it. You have to be motivated to do anything in life. Motivation is a start to finding success. And I can apply that just in school. I mean, if, I, if I'm, me personally, I, I don't want to complete a project or something without having motivation to do it. I tell myself I have to get this done so I can turn it on time and get a good grade. That's basically my motivation for that. And just maintaining an A and getting A's is that motivation. Because I know I have to work. And I know I have to do the work to get the A. If, 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 I, if, if I don't do the work, I'm not going to get the A. It's as simple as that. And I could say no matter, no matter how smart you are or no matter how gifted, every one of us in school and work, if we put down the work, we put down the effort, we will get results out of it. And we will get what we work for. And in school, it's terrible because there's people who have potential and have the, the mind, but they don't want to apply themselves. Because it's very, very noticeable. But there are actual people that do have, do have um, really is real um, issues. And they can't do anything about it. And it's sad because because they can't control it, and there's students in our school that can't control it, and schools in general, that can make a difference. But that is what draws a line between students that want to do good in life, or students that are going, are going to do good in life, or students who are not going to, go, not going to do good in life. It draws that line. Students who want to succeed and want to be successful when they get older, usually do good in school, usually try hard to have a good work ethic. Just all about that. The school, high, especially high school, high school, middle school is a start to your life. You're figuring out like what do you want to do and how you're gonna find your success and your worth ethic you have. Because I really didn't find my worth ethic until I was in like seventh, eighth grade. I don't really remember a lot before then, but I didn't really try as much or care in middle school or um, in elementary school. But once I came to middle school, I started trying a lot more and realizing that this um, that school is important. Yes. To move on, I know I've been talking a lot about stuff, stuff but <laughs> it is National Jelly Bean Day. I love jelly beans. I have not had jelly beans in a while, but I've had jelly bellies. They're like jelly beans, but I think jelly bellies are better. They taste better. They're There's more flavors. But jelly beans are more traditional, I guess you could say. But I love my jelly beans. It's so amazing. Nothing beats jelly beans when it comes to candy like that. <laughs> so there aren't many things going on today. Unfortunately, there's three. The last thing. So I used to be in Boy Scouts a long time ago. And I never really was a leader in Boy Scouts. But if you are a Girl Scout scout her today and you are a leader it is national girl scout leaders day 
So go Girl Scout leaders. <laughs> Don't really know what they do, but I remember, I remember being in Boy, Boy Scouts and seeing the leaders in the Boy Scouts. But I really don't know how, how it compares to girls, so. So if you're in Girl Scouts, make today's special or start being that special person in Girl Scouts. That is just phenomenal. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was in Boy Scouts. A long time. So whatever you guys are doing today, just make sure that you're staying motivated, you are spreading kindness, really most importantly, because the world needs a ton of kindness. There is not enough kindness in this world. And it's sad. It's just kind of ever declining. Not just because of social media and cell phones like that, but people are just becoming greedy and we need to be kind to each other and put down our phones and have communication with people and make sure that we are maintaining that relationship with our friends, our family, our peers, or just anyone public. And I could get a long conversation talking about um, how, you know, cell phones and how uh, technology has improved, but it's also declining our communication skills, our generic communication skills, our traditional communication, because that is the base of what we all need to have to be in the world. I mean, let's say you want to go get a job somewhere. I mean, you don't want to, you're not going to have, like, LOL to your <laughs> to your boss, you're not going to say that to him all the time. You know, you have to have actual communication, legitimate skills, you know, shake their hand, to pro have proper eye contact, not <laughs> have use of emojis and stuff like that, because you cannot use that when you're talking to someone. You have to have proper communication. And that's a big thing with people. And them being happy, too. big thing with people and people liking you and having like trust with you and knowing you and this thinking about you is this how you communicate with them and how you show yourself to them that's very important just as simple as even just making eye contact when you're talking or when, in, when you introduce yourself shake their hand and get to know them and just be very kind and considerate with them that's a big thing when people are finding success in life and are trying to get jobs and are trying to um Go, for, go through college and make friends. It's just a big thing that, it's just a big thing in life. Very important. I thought it'd be a good thing to talk about that today, today's vlog. Well. Kind of sitting on my mind a little bit, and it does a lot in the daytime. Just about communication. And actually, <laughs> while, I was while I was taking the ACT, that was, one, that was the written portion question. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, because I was thinking about that the other day before the ACT. I was like, this is perfect for it because I can, I only have 40 minutes to write a whole entire essay. And I was like, okay, I got this. <laughs> so that worked out perfect. But yes, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday, fun day, and a great Earth Day, Girl Scout Leaders Day, and Jelly Belly Day or Jelly Beans. Just make sure you make it enjoyable and you spread kindness, you stay happy. Yes, this is Day John Coffin here with the vlog today. Peace out, and I will see you tomorrow.